Key with our capital group. Wanted to take a couple minutes to go over some auction uh, data. And uh, as you know, you can always check in if you don't have an account. Check in, see what we're buying and selling by going to here, putting an OCG, and then clicking Welcome. And you can kind of see some of the properties that we've uh, purchased. And I'll go over a couple of these real quick. Auburn, we actually had sold. Uh, and obviously, uh, the deal fell apart. A person could not get financing, so we put that back on the market. Uh, this property, I uh, have some offers uh, in on that. Mercer is pending, supposed to close this week. Glen Acres did close. This was one of our best returns ever. Uh, the 48% return and just a little bit under you know, for 50 days, which was an incredible return. We have uh, Regents Parks pending and bought Timberwood, haven't taken possession of that. If you, when you do log in, you'll be able to go to this, uh, uh, your dashboard. And if you have any open orders, these will show, it'll show up here. You'll also be able to see your watch list, the details on your open properties. And as you can see, if I click on details, I can see uh, the properties that I'm in and how much I hold of each one, okay, uh, and what we have it, what we have it valued at, and so forth. Uh, then what else you can do is you can go to details of closed P and L. What you'll see is that we just we launched this software, even though we've been doing this a long time. Uh, the software was wasn't launched in, launched until uh, late August, so we only have a the, we only have a, a little bit of the overall track record in there. But if you take a look at Glen Acres, what you can do is you can go back and you can take a look, for example, at what you've purchased and you can kind of get an idea of what the estimated rehab was. When we first initially did it, we said estimated rehab was 2000 Estimated selling expense would be about 6500 100 Carrying costs would be 3500 And then you can see actually what the profit ended up being after uh, after the purchase and so forth. So anyhow, and actually where you, we sold it at and and, uh, and what have you. So hopefully everybody, and you can see the sell, sell price, you can see the selling expenses and are able to take a look at that and obviously see any research and any of your data on the property as well. Uh, so if you go back and you, again, you look at that, you can do it with any of your properties that you've purchased and, and, and sold, and you can do it to your current holdings as well. Then if you go to search for available properties, just kind of going back off of uh, our capital group, uh, the auction last week, you can see, now remember, we started out with a, a lot more properties than this. If you just look at last week's auction for Washington, and you look at 23 for the 23rd, you'll see that we started out with 94 properties, uh, as we went through that, we had only properties with opening bids. We uh, get that down to 28. Then we had hot properties that we were interested in. And you see that there's only two properties that we were interested in bidding at on. And we did. They just happened to all go over uh, the current asking price or what we thought they were worth. Uh, if you go back to the main two, for people that are looking at a more passive uh, approach, remember you can always go place passive bids. And this will allow you to say, for example, invest $100,000 in the next uh, uh, three properties or at OCG's discretion. But let's say I said I want to be in at least two properties. So in the next two properties in any of the counties, or I can go ahead and pick and choose counties that I'm interested in. And let's say I say I'm only interested in Orange County uh, and uh, I'm interested in uh, King and, and Stohomish County, for example. And then I can say, go ahead and do this, uh, place the orders. I can say at OCG's discretion as far as my exposure, or I can go ahead and pick it myself. And I could say, for example, I want 30% at least in any one property with a maximum exposure of 50%. I agree to the selling terms, and I can put that order in. And that goes into a queue that you'll be able to see, and uh, you'll be whatever, whatever, wherever you're at. It's based on a first in, first filled. And you'll see that you've enabled passive bidding. And when your turn comes up, next properties we buy, your your per properties will be purchased in that uh, that order. And with the orders that you've, with the discretion that you've put in. Those are good till canceled. And they're good until you cancel the order. Cancel like that and you're done. Hopefully everybody has a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.